It's not just Taylor Swift and her concerts. There's a university course dedicated to Taylor Swift at Harvard University, no less. And students are currently undertaking the course. They look at her music and her popularity. Uh, the world, the Taylor Swift and her world, that's what the course is called. It's led by an English professor, Stephanie Burt. She joined me last week. Now one of her students joins me, Ria Kapoor. Ria, thanks so much. Why are you studying Taylor Swift? Hi, yeah, thanks so much for having me. I think, um... For me personally, I'm currently a senior at the college. I study English and theater, dance, and media. So I'm a singer, that's part of it. I'm also a writer. Um, so I'm sure you can imagine why someone with my background would be interested in a course like this and looking mm. at how someone like Taylor goes from being Taylor Swift, the artist, to just the phenomenon that she is. Um, you know, how much of it has to do with her talent and her lyricism and her writing versus kind mm. of the language surrounding her, fan culture, um, you know, the way her fans talk about her marketing campaigns. So I think yeah. for anyone interested in, in media, it's a, it's a great class. So what have you decided in that class? Have you, have you come up with an answer to those questions? Because she's pretty polarising. I mean, some people think she's completely uh, talented and cannot see what, uh, not talented, <laughs> I should say, and uh, can, can't see what the fuss is about at all. But what have you come up with in this class? Well, I think to that point, you know, I personally swore up and down for the longest time that I was not a huge Swifty, and I fear <laughs> I was wrong about that. I think it's, regardless of what you think about her music, it's impossible to not be in awe of her mm. legacy and her artistry and what she does lyrically. Um, the class kind of looks at her both as a storyteller in her own right, as a writer, and then yeah. also kind of looks at the media culture surrounding her, so... Mm. A little bit of both there. Yeah, really interesting because, um, you know, some people don't think she's a very good songwriter uh, and perhaps, you know, she's not the best songwriter of all time. Some people think that she's not the best dancer and perhaps that's uh, true, perhaps not the best voice. I mean, but as a package, she's just a total powerhouse. I wonder if it's mm -hmm. got something to do with her being completely relatable um, and not unattainable for young women. Yeah, and a lot of what we talk about in the class is, you know, what makes Taylor's songs work um, and how she's doing all these things at the same time. It's a combination of the lyricism and the stories that she's telling. We talk a lot about authenticity as far as uh, Taylor's works. And yeah. I think you put it right. It's it's very much about relatability. She kind of mm. just radiates positivity um, and girlhood. And, you know, she has such a huge catalog that it's kind of impossible to not relate to at least one of her eras, yeah. so to speak. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to kind of buy into the authenticity of it at this point of her career because she's got such a big team around her, you know, so many billions of dollars swirling yeah. around as well. But, look, it's fascinating. Uh, um, it's fascinating to talk to you about uh, studying it at Harvard as well. Thanks for your time.